Have you ever stared at the strange illustrations on US dollars and wondered why they exist? It's the most important currency in the world, but few actually take a moment to contemplate the reasons behind these markings and the secrets they are hiding. Stay tuned as we take you through an in-depth look at the most significant hidden secrets in this often overlooked piece of paper. If you're not skinned, then now's the time to whip out your cash and send it to me. I mean, follow along. Amazing! Let's start off with the $1 note. Its obverse or front side has many similar symbols that are carried forward to notes of other values. Let's also point out the obvious. This is the signature of the treasurer of the United States, as indicated underneath. And this is the signature of the secretary of the treasury, in case you can't follow the pattern. This marking indicates what year that particular dollar sign originated, and just above it is the treasury department seal, which authenticates the note. On closer inspection, you'll notice a balance, which indicates justice, a key, which indicates trust, and an inverted V-shape, known as the chevron, which has 13 stars within it. That number 13 is kind of a recurring theme. We'll explain it soon. Just above this seal is the name of the capital city, and just above that is the unique serial number of that precise note. This number is also copied on the opposite side of the note, and at the front of it is a letter. The shrewd amongst you will notice that this letter also features inside the seal above. This is the Federal Reserve Seal. If you're interested in knowing which Federal Reserve Bank printed your bill, you can either check out the writing at the bottom of the seal, find out from the letter in the middle, or refer to the numbers scattered around the note. The letters and numbers correspond to different locations as shown here. Pause now to learn them in case one comes up in a future general knowledge quiz. Right above this is the obligation clause, and in the middle is good old George Washington, the first president. This picture was modeled off Gilbert Stuart's portrait of him in 1796, but it was reversed due to the engraving processes. The portrait is supported by bay laurel leaves, which represent status, like back in ancient Greece, and they also appear to be budding, indicating that the U.S. is yet to bloom. The two last things are these letters and numbers. This one to the left is called the note position identifier, indicating where on the plate the note was printed, and this one to the right is the face plate number, indicating the number of the plate from which the bill was printed. So, those are the pretty standardized markings, and other note values have the same markings. But different figures appear in the middle like Lincoln on the $5 bill and Franklin on the $100 bill. They're also arranged slightly differently and have some additional design details, but these symbols are the basis for the front side of dollar notes. On the reverse or back side of the note, you will notice that it attempts to encapsulate the ideologies of the new nation that the Founding Fathers wanted to preserve following the Declaration of Independence. In the center, you'll see the official U.S. motto, In God We Trust, that was adopted in 1956. The two circles you see on either side are the two halves which make up the Great Seal. Why are there two halves? Well, back then, pendant seals, which are basically wax discs attached to official documents with a cord, were still widely used and had a different design on either side. The details contained in each of these designs are highly contested, and all you National Treasure fans might dispute everything I'm about to say. Let's start with the heraldic bald eagle, which you'll also notice is printed in purple on the $5 bill. In front of the eagle is an unsupported shield which symbolizes the fledgling country's ability to stand on its own. The eagle is biting on a ribbon which has the phrase e pluribus unum engraved upon it. That means out of many, one in Latin. Above the eagle's head is a load of stars in what's known as a glory, a feature that's made to look like it's bursting out of a cloud, symbolizing a new nation led by God. The eagle is holding a set of arrows showing its readiness to fight, and an olive branch, which signifies peace. The fact that the eagle's head points towards the olive branch signifies that the U.S. prefers peace compared to conflict. Now, on to the other more controversial seal. The pyramid is meant to represent strength and durability, and the floating eye, called the Eye of Providence, is meant to represent the Illuminati, I mean God, watching over us. Seriously though, the eye is a pretty frequently used symbol throughout history, and is a simple and effective way to represent God, so it most likely doesn't represent a secret society's prevailing influence. The cap, or triangle, encasing the eye is separated to symbolize that the United States is still far from finished, and the rising sun behind it is supposed to represent a new nation that has begun. It even leaves a shadow to the west, as back then that was the direction of undiscovered lands. The motto at the top reads Annuit Coiptis, meaning he has favored our undertakings, and the motto at the bottom reads Novus Ordo Seclorum. That's a Harry Potter spell. No, okay, it's not really. It actually means a new order of the ages. Don't get confused into thinking it means a new world order though, because it actually signifies the beginning of a new American era as of the date of the Declaration of Independence. 
That date, 1776, is inscribed above in Roman numerals on the bottom pyramid step. By now, you may be wondering why these mottos were chosen, or perhaps you've noticed that we've missed a couple things. Well, remember what I said about the number 13? I wasn't lying when I said it was important. This motto has 13 letters. There are also 13 steps on the pyramid, and 13 pearls coming out of the seal, on both sides. The ribbon motto has 13 letters, the eagle is holding 13 arrows, and the olive branch has 13 leaves and 13 berries. And there are 13 stars above the eagle's head, each with 13 Be Amazed logos inside. Alright, maybe not the last one. Anyhow, the number 13 was maybe a tiny bit special to the founding fathers, as it symbolizes the 13 original colonies. Now, whilst most agree that these markings make some sense, Perhaps the oddest feature that has conspiracy theorists drooling is this owl or spider mark. An owl mark would symbolize the Illuminati, and a spider would fit with the webbed background theme. Both may seem plausible, but sadly there is an even better explanation for this. After overlaying a transposed section of the web from the bottom part of the bill, it is clear that this is just an unintentional feature. Now that's pretty much everything for the dollar bill, but what about other US dollar note values? Well sadly, there aren't as many cool hidden symbols to talk about and we've deliberately missed out certain design features because we're considering making another video on this. So let us know in the comments below if this is something you'd like to see, and if you're a viewer from way in the future, there may be a follow-up video on screen now. Click it.